the fact is that many of the most important agricultural inputs are mispriced or not priced at all. And so business people need to help governments create the property rights systems that will make that scarcity evident to themselves, to their customers, and to their suppliers. We have confronted problems of scarcity in the past, and we have always figured out ways to manage them. Those ways have always encompassed this use of price signals to send messages about scarcity to producers and to consumers. So if we get into trouble, it will be because we are unwilling to allow price signals to signal that scarcity. Right? If we pretend that things are free, we will use too much of them. If we pretend that the atmosphere has an infinite ability to absorb carbon dioxide, we will overuse that ability and we will bring about changes that will be difficult for us to manage, if not impossible. If we misprice water, we will use too much of it and we will run ourselves into difficulty on that front. So what we need to do is get the signals right, get the market signals right, so that the farmers who are enormously innovative people all over the world, whether in Iowa or in Ethiopia, can do what makes sense for themselves, for their families, and for the broader societies in which they live.